you know, confidence is one thing, but actually getting into a game and having that live action is probably second to none. That's a wrap for the Boston Celtics preseason. And although they didn't get the win against the Miami Heat, as the Heat prevailed with a 121-100 point victory, the preseason was really an opportunity for the Celtics' young players to get even more run as they look to build off that confidence heading into the regular season. It was a successful uh, preseason because um, it's all new for all of us with a new coach staff and new scheme and stuff. And I think we played well and had a lot of uh, learning experiences and different rotations, different guys playing with each other that normally uh, wouldn't play or hasn't haven't played. And uh, there's a lot that we can take over into these next couple practices leading up to the first game. You know, confidence is one thing, but actually getting into a game and having that live action is probably second to none. So the fact that they're getting out there, getting a lot of reps and minutes, uh, they're showing us what they could do. But um, we need that from them. We know the team will take a big step if, if they grow like, like we need them to. And so we got a good mix of veterans, young guys, and, and we're hoping they all step up together. I'm great for the other guys to step up and play. And uh, when they come back, we're going to be even stronger. And um, I think it's a long season. We got 82 games, so uh, we're going to use a couple of games of those. Uh, use it as practice. Try to get better every day um, and uh, try to focus on the bigger picture. Now, Rob Williams did not play in this game because of right knee tendinopathy. And post game, Ime Odoka said that they took a safe approach with Williams in resting him and that he had already played quite a few minutes over the Celtics' last three games. But he will, in fact, be ready against the New York Knicks next week.